viewers good morning to you from the mathematics academy here in this question you see that a train covers a distance of 300 km with a certain speed with a uniform speed and we know that the train starts from the points a and it terminates from the point b and cover 300 km in their journey now in the original condition the distance covered by the train is 300 km as it is given in the question let the speed of the train is x kilometer per hour and you know that the formula to find the time is distance over speed and in this condition we know that the distance covered is 300 kilometer and the speed is x therefore the time becomes 300 over x hours now after changing in speed the speed of the train is increased by 5 km per hour. If the speed is increased by 5 km per hour, the distance will remain the same. That is 300 km. The speed is changed and the speed becomes x plus 5 km per hour as the previous speed is x and the increase the speed is 5. The formula for the time is again the same. That is distance over speed. And the distance is 300 and the speed is x plus 5. So the time taken by the train is 300 upon x plus 5 hours. Also, the time taken after increasing the speed is less in comparison of the lesser speed. It means the time 300 upon x is greater than 300 over x plus 5. We see that the time difference during the journey is 2 hours. Therefore, the equation becomes 300 over x minus 300 over x plus 5 is equals to 2. On simplify this equation, we just take simply LCM that is x over x plus 5. Now we have to be multiply. Therefore, 300 over x plus 5 minus and 300 into x is 300x equals to 2. On simplify the brackets, 300x, 300 into 5 is 1500 minus 300x over x multiply with x is x square and x multiply with 5 is x5, it means 5x is equals to 2. And 300x positive cancel with 300x negative. And we left with only numerator part that is 1500 over x square x5 may be written as 5x is equals to 2. Now on doing the cross multiplication here we get 1500 is equals to 2 multiply with x square plus 5x. On simplification the right hand side we get 2x square plus 10x. And shifting the 1500 from left to right, we get an equation that is 2x square plus 10x that is right hand side and shifting from 1500, change the sign that is minus 1500 equals to 0. We see that the whole equation divisible by 2. So on dividing the equation by 2, we get x square when 10 divided by 2, we get 5x and here we get 750. That is our equation which we need to solve. To solve the equation, first of all, the value of A, that is the coefficient of x square, 1. The value of B, that is the coefficient of x, that is 5. And the constant term C, that is minus 750. As we know that to solve this equation, we need the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is x is equals to minus B plus minus under root d upon 2a and all we know that the value of d the formula of d is b square minus 4ac upon 2a now on putting the values here we get the b as 5 so this is minus 5 plus minus under root square of the 5 is 25 minus 4 times a the value of a is 1 and the value of C is minus 750 divided by 
2a and the value of a is 1 therefore 2 into 1 now on simplification we get minus 5 as it is plus minus under root 25 minus into minus is plus and 4 into 750 is 3000 divided by 2 again on adding 25 and 3000 we get 3025 divided by 2 and we know that the square root of 3025 is 55 now on proceeding the question minus 5 plus minus square root is 55 divided by 2 now this will split into the two parts first is with plus and the second is with minus it means minus 5 plus 55 divided by 2 and the another one is minus 5 with minus sign 55 upon 2 now on simplification the first 55 minus 5 that is 50 over 2 and 2 divided by 50 the result is 25 here in this case minus 5 and minus 55 is minus 60 divided by 2 and the result is minus 30 as we know that the speed cannot be negative therefore x cannot be minus 30